Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be looking at how you can, you know, simulate, create, actually use things to give the feel of HDRI or HDRI rendering directly here in Twinmotion. And this is a question I've seen in so many places and I think the best thing to do is just show you guys uh, how you can go ahead and kind of cheat your way into it because by default you already know that twin motion as it is give you a much more realistic real-time sky and you know you can do all those amazing things with it but when it comes to hdri rendering where you need to use some things like hdri maps uh there's a bit of work around which i'm going to go ahead and show you guys so the idea is driven from a very very industry-based idea more like uh how you do things like hdri stuff directly in uh softwares like maya and blender and all that stuff yes so we're going to start off by taking a look at using a simple hemisphere so the hemisphere which we're going to use would be found directly here on the uh the furnitures and primitives so we're going to come through and simply click this and drag it directly here so we need one other thing which i'm going to bring in so i'm just going to go ahead and bring in a sphere i think for this we can you know go through and scale this up just a little bit and let's zoom right inside okay so let's zoom right inside so one of the things you would notice real quick is that right now we can still see the sky and for those asking how can you take uh, how can you get rid of this how you can do this is coming over here within the context you can actually change the background to none okay so right now you change the background to none nothing happens so if you've seen the video where we talked about materials actually have a whole lot of videos about that you can understand why we cannot see anything directly here so what we're going to do now is we're going to first of all kind of simulate the idea of the lighting so the reason why we cannot see anything is because by default our object is set to single face so single face simply means that the normals of our object is only facing upwards so we want our object to actually have a double face so let's just go ahead and create a new material zoom all the way out click drag and drop directly here so if we change the color to something like red or something within that color we should be able to see it all right so we can actually see that red here but we don't see it casting directly on our object so what we need to do is with this material selected we can go over to settings and turn two-sided on so now that we have two-sided on let's just go ahead and you know move this a little bit lower okay so now we have the two-sided on you can also see that we have this casting directly here so let's come through and also assign a given material to this object so for this object i might go with something a little bit reflective something like this so we can take a look at it so we can use something like this and i think it's also cool to bring in a car i think something that has a much more reflective surface so i can go through and just simply drag in a car any random car can do and let's just set the color to maybe white i think all right so we can set the color to white and i'm going to go ahead and bring this directly here so from here let's select these two and position them to the center so from here you can see that our object is actually reflecting what we have on top but we're only having screen based reflection and not the proper reflection that we need so how can we fix this what we can do is we can go all the way back come over to volumes pick up a reflection probe and drag and drop directly here so you can actually start seeing that the minutes which we you know uh, throw this thing directly here you can see or you can notice there is some differences we're now having a much more proper reflection happening in our scene compared to when we never had this there and so you can see what it looks like before and you can see what it looks like now so next thing which we're going to do so let me just go ahead and make this about two okay so we can drop one directly here on the car next thing which we're going to do is to try as much as we can to introduce a different map so we've seen how we can use the color to actually you know uh cause reflections to happen around here so what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a different map this time so we're going to use a texture so what we're going to do is to use a texture to actually drive this so what i'm going to do now is just come over to this part where i have the red first things first change this color back to white as it's supposed to be and then we're going to go over to more 
click here and click on open within here i have a couple of hdri images which you can use by default twin motion doesn't accept hdr images and it also doesn't accept exr images so you definitely need to find a way to convert these images to either jpeg or png so i'm just going to go ahead and pick one of these images and simply hit on open so once we do that you will notice that we have this directly there and you would also notice that we don't have it reflecting on our object so the question is why is this not reflecting but before we get to start answering that question what we need to do is to come over and actually increase the scale so let's just go ahead and match the scale all right so we can go through and fix the scale of this okay so i think something like this can match so we can fix that scale click more and then let's just go a bit up and then next thing which you can do is to move this a bit upwards okay so now the reason why we're moving this upwards is so that we can have the hdri images traveling around you can see i have a very low resolution image for yours i would suggest that you go ahead and get something you know high quality so that you can use it for anything that you want the next thing which we need to do is come back all right next thing which we need to do is come back to the color and then if we want this HDR to cast things like light, okay, we can increase the luminosity. So once we have this done, you can see we have the screen based reflection happening there. But then of course, we don't have this uh, casting on top of this object. So a good way to do this or a good way to simulate this is coming back to the reflection probe and hitting update. So the minute you click on update, you would notice that this automatically updates the scene. Let's go back one more time and see what it looks like by adding a different texture. So let's go ahead and find a different texture. So if this loads up properly, what we can do now is just simply come back and hit on the uh, update and also hit on update and you will be able to see it. So this is more like a cheat where you can, you know, attach HDR images or you can, you know, simulate the idea of having HDR images in your scene so if you actually like this what you can do is go ahead implement something like this and then of course you can use it for anything that you want and so if you're looking for where you can download things like uh hdr images we have a section in the channel which is called free friday so within that section you will be able within the playlist you'll be able to find tons of resources where you can download free materials free textures free hdr images and you can also find where you can download free models for both architecture and animation use so if you want to get these things you can go over to the channel check the free friday playlist and get all those things absolutely free and also if you want to go ahead and try out this you can use this for you know product visualization it's totally up to you i don't know what you want this for but then you can go ahead and explore as much possibilities that you can do with this thing so for product visualization this could be nice if you want to use this for interior rendering of course you can also go ahead and play with this and create some sort of fun other things that you can do is you can also introduce your own light so if you actually uh, if you're done with this you can go ahead and introduce your own light directly into your scene so let's say we want this light like this you can go ahead and introduce your own light directly in the scene let's increase the intensity all right and also you can turn on shadows so you can introduce your own light directly in the scene just to add some sort of finesse or you know some some cool or some extra feel to uh, what you have directly here so this is more like it there's just a whole lot of possibilities and a whole lot of things that you can achieve by just simply uh, using these things so i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and turn on notification and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss an update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace